Hello everybody and welcome to Pixelmon! Yay! We're on the Pixelmon server, we're on the NF uh, Foundation server, it's a charity server. And um, yeah, I'm going to be starting a new series playing Pixelmon. Now, Stampy will be joining me uh, later on in the series. Currently, at the moment, he's in Italy, uh, enjoying a nice holiday, probably getting a suntan uh, while I'm stuck in rainy England. Uh, but he shall be joining me later on when he gets home. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be starting a brand new adventure with um, a load of new friends on this server. There's Choo Choo. There's my tour guide for today. Uh, he's going to be helping me and sorting me out because uh, I have been playing this server and I got quite a few Pokemon, uh, but I decided to basically start from scratch and uh, give myself a challenge. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to build a house this episode. We're going to get sorted. So, yeah, hello, Choo Choo. Thank you for the kick. Very nice of you. Uh, so... And this is basically a list of everyone that's on the server. Uh, these are all the YouTubers. And uh, you guys can actually come and play on the server with us. Um, I think it's €5 Euros to donate uh, for a day. And I think it's €20 Euros for a month. And uh, all the money uh, goes to charity, goes to NF Charity. Uh, so it's a really good cause. And you can come and play with me and Choo Choo and uh, all the guys on this board. Um, so yeah, do it if you want. <laughs> come, and, come and play Pick Someone with us. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. Look at this place. I got um, I got the shaders pack on. I'll put all the links in the description to all the lovely shaders. Look at the water. Look at all the nice little cool, like, it just looks awesome. Uh, I'm using Doku Craft texture pack because I believe it, it looks just so pretty with Doku Craft. And uh, the water's like reflective and we all look pretty. And I've even changed my skin. I've even got myself a brand new skin for this mod. I am Ash Catchem or Squid Catchem or Someone like that. I'm, I'm someone, I'm a Pokemon noob. Uh, here's Professor Oak. <laughs> Professor Oak, hello. Hello, mate. Hello, squid. Hello, how you doing? I guess he just stands here and uh, greets all the new people that come into the server. Uh, makes them feel welcome and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, basically, uh, you can catch Pokemon, catch... I don't know how many Pokemon's in this mod, um, but it's forever updating by the amazing people who have made this mod. And uh, there's loads of stuff to do. We've also got some extra mods in this, uh, as well as Flowercraft mod. You get these little cool guys, these uh, NPCs <laughs> throughout, and you can battle these. These all have um, uh, Pixelmon and stuff like that. You can come and battle. Uh, so let me show you around. This is, uh, hello, uh, p hello, Professor. I've already speak spoke to you once. I'm not going to speak to you again. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is the village. This is the server uh, that Choo Choo and uh, other people have created uh, amongst River Girl and Neuropsych and Super Chatch and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, this is the start. This is where, uh, if you come into the server, this is where you'll spawn. We've got many places uh, which you can use, many services. Uh, this is the Pixelmon Exchange and Insurance. Uh, I believe you come in here. And uh, you can trade Pokemon. These are all my uh, stats and defenses. I'm partic I'm a noob at the moment. Uh, but if say if I want to trade with Choo Choo, I can drop my Squirtle in there. He'll drop something else, and we'll both press ready. And uh, yeah, that's how trading works. I'm just giving you guys uh, basically a crash course of how uh, pick someone works. And uh, Choo Choo is going to be my tour guide today. Uh, he's set me. Oh, what are these? Black apricorns. Okay, so apricorns are basically what you need to make uh, Pokeballs. Uh, he's giving me all different kinds uh, because he's lovely. And uh, I can actually plant these and make them grow into these things. So I can have my very own plants of myself, which I'm going to do. Uh, Choo Choo's actually um, terraformed a plot of land for me. Uh, so I can go and build a pretty house, which I will be doing today because that's what uh, we need to do. We need to put our mark on the server and build ourselves um, a pretty little house. So here's the flower shop. This is, uh, I'm just trying to peep through the window. It's currently not open. There's no one inside. I can see, uh, can we, is there any way to get in? I don't think there's any way to get in. I think it's uh, under renovation, this thing. Uh, this is the battle arena. Uh, so every day on this server... There will be uh, people battling, and you can battle for things like Pokeballs and prizes and stuff like that. I've actually... There's Choo Choo's uh, Aerodactyl. Look how cool that looks. It looks pretty awesome. Whoa, there's his Gyarados. That's a huge thing. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I've got a little Squirtle that's currently fainted. Uh, I would get him out, but um, if... Like, on this server, uh, well, as well as Pixelmon, Pixelmon can come and challenge you, just, like, randomly. And uh, there's a little bug at the moment when, if they challenge you, it does actually crash. Uh, so I'm not going to get a squirtle out this episode. Uh, but we are going to try and catch some more Pokemon this episode, I reckon. If we get time. If we get time. Um, and, speaking of the battle, 
The first time I came in the server, I battled the uh, Chaotic Creeper, and uh, I actually uh, won myself a Master Ball, which I'm keeping because that's my trophy. So yeah, na 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 na. And if I see a Mew uh, in the jungle, which is like the most rarest Pokemon of all, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'll just have like one little Squirtle and one like really powerful Mew. That'd be amazing. Uh, the Aqua Natal Bathing Center and smoothies. Okay, this is the place where if you get fossils, you can get fossils underground. And uh, they're usually under the water kind of areas, the sea and stuff like that. Uh, you can mine them. Uh, you bring them to here, you clean them off, and uh, you pop them in this machine, and you will get fossil Pokemons, uh, which is epic, uh, which I really want to do because I love fossil Pokemon. They're probably my favourite. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to do that. I'm definitely going to have to go mining and try and get myself some new Pokemon. Uh, but look at all these people. we got Charbok or Arbok, whatever his name is. He's, uh, he's a bit loopy at the moment. He's flying around. <laughs> he's currently... It's currently coming after me, but... <laughs> um, this is uh, the Pokemon... Uh, what is it? I can't remember. It's, the, it's where you get Pokeballs. Uh, basically, if you don't want to make them and you're lazy, probably like me, uh, you can trade XP for buying Pokeballs. So we've got all the different types. Um, the probably most expensive one is the uh, Master Ball, I think. Have we taken the Master Ball out of here? I think we've taken the Master Ball out of here. Uh, oh, no, you see, look. Oh, there we go. Right in, right in my face. The center one. This is 100 XP if you want a Master Ball. So they are really rare. I don't think you can craft them. Uh, but basically, Master Balls are if you if you throw them at Pokemon, you've got like a 100% chance of catching them. Uh, so right, Choo-Choo, enough, enough yabba jabba wabbing. Uh, please lead me to my plot of land and uh, we'll be on our way. So which way should we go? Which way do you want to go? I'm going to follow Choo-Choo. And everyone else can see the amazing um, shaders mod. I hope you like the shaders mod and the Doku craft. It looks absolutely beautiful, don't you think? I really like it. I hope we do get all the bits um, kind of kind of figured out uh, with the crashing and stuff like that. We probably will. We've got a great team on the server uh, getting everything sorted. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty amazing, the shaders mod. You get, like, trees that move. Not move, as in, like, get up and start walking off. I mean, like, uh, basically just sway in the wind. Uh, but yeah, look at all these different Pokemon around. It's amazing. I love this mod. You can basically just like walk around and see like loads and loads and loads of different Pokemon just spawning in front of you. We've got a Machop, he's a little baby guy. We've got an Oddish. Oh, look at this guy. Oddish. Look at him. Oddish. Oddish. <laughs> They're awesome. I love them. And we've got all this to come, guys. We've got all this to come. I really want to be. Um... Oh, thank you for the potatoes. Uh, I've got. Um... I really want to be like a Pokemon Oddish. gym leader, uh, like a, a water Pokemon. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get like all the best water type. And uh, then hopefully, uh, Choo Choo's promised me um, a, like a building, like a like a gym building of myself. So if I get like really good Pokemon, he's gonna build me like a, a water gym uh, thingy, so I can battle everybody else. Um, be really cool as well uh, if you guys have this mod, you want to come on and battle me. And uh, yeah, it'd be pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna be a gym lead. Hopefully, that's my goal for this. I'm gonna be the ultimate Pokemon master, um, and I'm gonna catch them all. <laughs> I've actually got a Pokedex. Professor Oak gave me this. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at it. Uh, so it shows you. It shows you what the Squirtle is. It is like a, a 3D image. Uh, it's 9 kg. It's only half a meter high. And the description: It shells itself in its shell when strikes back with spouts of water at every opportunity. Uh, so yeah, that's the Pokedex. And um, the whole obviously aim for the Pokemon. The motto is gotta catch them all. Um, so I, I probably might do that. I might do that. There's a lot of Pokemon in this mod. Still to this day. Um, I've been playing this pick someone mod for about three, four, maybe five days now, and I still haven't seen like all the Pokemon. That just how proves how much there is in it. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so I can't wait. I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to build a house. I can't wait to um, yeah, just catch some great Pokemon and uh, have a lot of fun. Uh, so let's do this. I believe my house uh, is near a desert, and uh, I've got like a little moat around it. Uh, which is going to be quite good for my pixel, my uh, Pixelmon type, which is going to be water. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty awesome. And you can hear this music in the background. It's so thuzin, thuzin. It's so what's it? Why am I calling it thuzin? What is it? It's so relaxing. That's what I meant to say. Uh, but there's like a really good soundtrack to this. Uh, Amy Lee's house. Oh yeah, okay. We can show everyone uh, everyone's house on the server. Um, we've actually got Amy Lee. We've got River Girl and uh, Neuropsych. I think Super Chachi is living in a caravan for some reason. <laughs> he really likes to live in a caravan. Um, we got a fl I said that Flowercraft mod you can see over there. That's it. I don't think I've got permissions to go into Amy Lee's house, so I can't really do it. But this is it. This is Amy Lee's house over here. Uh, nice little wooden house. It's pretty beautiful. 
Uh, I'm struggling to get up this sand here. <laughs> Over there, that big house. Uh, that amazing piece of architecture is uh, River Girl's house, which is pretty awesome. Follow the river into your house. Ooh. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm going to kind of follow follow my way. I've got to remember where my house is. It's kind of a, a long way away from spawn. Uh, so the first thing that I'm probably going to do is try and get a flying type Pokemon uh, to try and get back and forth from a house easily. You can use commands as well. There is commands in the server. Uh, so you can do like slash, um, slash home. Uh, which enables you to get to your house like really quickly and really effectively, uh, which is which is pretty good if you're going to go on an adventure and you're a million miles away from home and um, you can't really be bothered travelling back. You can also um, just basically TP back to back to your house, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is Choo Choo's house, the nice big green house. It looks cool. Uh, this is Mouse's house, I believe. Uh, look at oh my god, she's got horses. She's got horses with gold armor. That's pretty cool. Uh, in loving memory of Rafonso. The little the horse that got away literally safe travels Rafonzo, wherever you are. Uh, so these are horses Mon Tonzo and Skittles. Beautiful names. Uh, <laughs> oh, I think this is the Nether place. If we ever want to do any trips to the Nether, we go in there. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's the giant flower from the f look at all them flowers down there. That's from the uh, flower craft mod. Uh, the flower craft mod is pretty awesome. I do actually like it. You can uh, you can basically shoot huge flowers from the ground. Look at all them flowers over there. It's like giant flowers, and I believe you can actually build out of the stems, uh, which is epic. And if you put like the, the 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 blocks in your inventory, you can make flower carpet, which is pretty cool, which I like. Uh, which I might be teaching Choo Choo a thing or two there, because I don't think he knew that. Um, but yeah, so let's go. I believe my house is nearly over here. We're nearly there, guys. It's kind of a long trek. Uh, but I've got the most beautiful surroundings, trust me. It's absolutely beautiful. You will love it. And uh, we're surrounded by gorgeous water and a lovely scenery. I believe my plot of land is at the top of this hill here. And uh, let's have a look. Here we go. Really nice flat surface for me to build on. Uh, we've got a beautiful scenery. I've got like a moat all the way around there. We've got some got some uh, gunky Pokemon over there. Like we've got a load of baddies. Um, so we've got some, you can see a sand shrew. We've got a nice moat all the way around. Oh my god, it looks absolutely epic, this place. Nice reflective water. That looks like a really pretty bridge. Hmm. I could really annoy Choo Choo with him and just say, I want to I wanna put a house on top of that bridge instead, but um, I don't think I will do that. <laughs> it does look kind of cool, though. Before I, before I start building, I want to actually go there and check this bridge out because it looks really epic. Like, it's proper, like, naturally terraformed, and uh, I think a house would look really cool underneath there. Let me just have a quick look. And I think it's got a... Uh, a pretty good view as well. At the other side, I think there's like a lake and stuff. <gasps> Look, there's a lake at the other side. <gasps> that looks beautiful. There's a horsey down there as well. Um, let's have a look at the area. There's not much building surface to kind of go on, um, but it is an absolutely beautiful view. Um, I might actually just build up here. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Should I build up here? I think I should. I think this is a this is the probably one of the best views. Yeah, I think I am. Uh, so Choo Choo is going to uh, supply me with some stuff. Uh, for everyone that comes on the server, if anyone wants to come at all, uh, Choo Choo's your man to kind of give you some stuff and basically just sort you out. We call it the starter pack. And uh, he gives you a lot of stuff. And uh, he's going to do it today. So he was, we've got a backpack. Uh, where's the backpack gone? Okay, so to get in your backpack, I think you press Shift and B. There we go. Backpack socks. Uh, the big blue backpack. Just Squiddy's colours. The big blue one. Um, and how do I get, what do I do with the backpack? Oh, look at this. <gasps> wow, look at all this. I didn't even know that. So basically, it's like two inventories. Um, what's he giving me? He's giving me a uh, golden shovel. He's giving me some spruce. He's giving me some birch. Um, I've got all my stuff here that I need. Uh, anvil, carpet. Um, so the golden shovels uh, are basically to claim my land and uh, protect my land. So if people come on this server and uh, the grief here, uh, which the prop, which well, hopefully no one does, um, but that's just to protect your stuff. Uh, so if you do come on the server and you want to build your own little piece of heaven and uh, you don't want anyone to steal your stuff, uh, then you can just basically claim your land and uh, everything will be beautiful. You can't, you don't have to worry about someone coming in your house, stealing all your stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty damn awesome that feature, I really like it. And uh, you can also make it so people can't open your front door and stuff like that. Uh, which is pretty annoying because I wanted to check some people's houses out. But you like go to open the door and it's like, you cannot go in, this is Zedda's property. And I'm like, no, I just want to look inside. <laughs> um, okay, so let's make some tours first things first. Starting from scratch. 
Uh, achievement! Back benchmarking. We got ourselves a crafting table. I'm going to go and get myself some tools. Uh, we're going to get ourselves some stone tools to start building. We don't really need armor in this mod because you can't get hurt, I don't think. I think you can get hurt, like, underground. Uh, but as far as you know, I don't think, like, mobs come out at night, which is really cool because, yeah, the amount of times that we... Uh, mobs spawn at uh, mob spawners. <laughs> yeah, so basically, mobs only spawn underground instead of on the surface, uh, which is cool if you want to go get some XP from them underground. Uh, but, yeah, it's really good because they don't kill you in the day. Me and Stampy have had a lot of headaches from um, that, that mod that we did. Squid's got mods, um, more creatures. Because that mod was just absolutely crazy. Like, we couldn't even explore because there were just that many creatures at night. <laughs> and uh, for people who are wondering, uh, this is the next kind of bit for Squid's Got Mods. Um, are we going to do, like, what I did for Squid's Got Mods, like, a couple of videos on it? But since I played on this, and it's such... It's such a massive mod and it's so fun to play. I thought, why not make a series on it? So yeah, this is the next part two Squid's Got Mods, if you were wondering. Uh, but I've just decided to make a series on it. So yeah. Um, welcome, everybody. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's Sandslash. He's very pretty. Um, but as I say... <gasps> look at Choo Choo's Gyarados in the water. Look how epic that looks. looks awesome. Um, who's this down here? Is this is Raichu? It's Raticate. Oh, it's a little mousey mouse with his teeth. Isn't that awesome? There's a cave down there. That can be our first mining trip to go down there and explore some stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but for now, as I say, we need to start building. We need to build a house. We need to get our foundations going. I'm not sure how big this house is going to be. Um, maybe I can make it on stilts because I haven't really got that much land to build. Or maybe if I build it over the boundaries, I could build, like, yeah, some stilts to hold it up. That'd be pretty cool because I don't really like floating houses. Uh, but let's get sword. Let's let's do let's do this. We're gonna make ourselves um, a pickaxe. All right, this this is probably all we're gonna need. Uh, so we're gonna get our inventory just sorted, and we're gonna mine this because this is gonna be in our way. Like so, and there we go. We're gonna punch this tree because it's in our way as well. Get out of here, tree. And um, we're gonna open our backpack. See what materials we've got to use. Uh, so we've got. How do we get inside the backpack? How do we get inside the backpack now? I can't remember. Let's shift and B, and then... Choo-choo, how do you get inside the backpack? <laughs> I know you press shift and B for the slot, but how do you get inside the actual menu? Oh, you just press B. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Um, Yeah, press B, B, D, B. <laughs> right, so, we got some potatoes. Uh, dive ball, which is going to need for the uh, sea Pokemon. Got ourselves a bed, red stub, for some reason. Probably won't ever use red stub, but we're going to give it a whirl anyway. Blue carpet. Uh, so, let's get some... Light bulb wool out, uh, dark blue, uh, what else do we need, yellow maybe, uh, black's kind of cool, yeah, we're going to get yellow for a bit of colour, and uh, let's start building it, let's do it, how are we going to do this now, I'm really terrible at building houses, but we're going to give it a whirl anyway, so we're going to need our front door, uh, in some kind of cool way, not sure how we're going to do this yet, this is really putting me under pressure here to start to build like a really good house, I'm just going to build a lot of rubbish, <laughs> um, so... Let's start. Let's just start. Do the foundations first. Good good thinking, mate. It's really weird because this isn't like a flat area. It's like zigzaggy. Um, so I feel like I should do like zigzaggy, like a zigzag house. Um, but never mind. Okay, let's just do this. So I want the front to be here. Um, oh, this is pressure. This this I don't want it to be a zigzag house. <laughs> right, we're going to make the, 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 the entrance here. Okay, let's just do this. We're going to make a square like this. Like so, um, welcome everybody to Squid's Slippery Zigzag House. I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> this is proper zigzag house. <laughs> okay, and then the main room is going to be... How big should we do it? This big maybe? Like so. It's going to be a bit leaning over the side, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and basically... We're going to do like the foundations and then we're going to go on a little hunt for Pokemon uh, because I don't want all this to be about just building this episode. I want you guys to see uh, what this mod's all about and what we can actually do and uh, yeah, let's just catch a couple of Pokemon as well. We've got ourselves some Pokeballs and uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do this. So we're going to join this up to that one. I believe it is going to be floating over the side. It doesn't matter. We'll sort that out. Choo Choo's worrying. He's like, you're coming onto my server, ruining my landscape. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's do this. So basically, you're going to come in, I don't know, maybe here, should we say here? And then you're going to go through this door, 
And this is going to be like the main sort of um, living quarters, I guess. And then over here, uh, I want this to be storage. So we're going to do this like this. I don't think I've ever built a zigzag house before. And it doesn't look that bad, actually. <laughs> I normally just... It's weird because when you're looking at it, you just... Like, all your perceptions are telling you to build zigzaggy. But because it's on, like, a zigzag mountain, it's really weird. <laughs> um, so this is going to be storage. And we're going to just destroy all this. And uh, like that. We're running out of wood, but it doesn't matter. We don't really need that much more. We're probably going to need a lot for the sides. Uh, but as long as I get my foundations down, um, you guys can see what I'm trying to achieve here. Like that. And then let's just corner this up. And then basically what we can do is we can put ourselves um, a little balcony on the top floor to see out over this magnificent view. So we're going to make it two stories. Uh, but for the time being... Uh, this is basically the... Ooh, that's a bit of frame rate then. Um, this is basically the layout of the house. I'm just going to destroy uh, this corner because it looks ugly. Like that. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. I know it's just a lot of wool on the floor. Uh, but I will build it up just to make you guys understand what, it's, what I'm going for here. Uh, okay, what should we use? What should we use this colour blue wool? Let's just use light blue. Uh, like so. Like this. Like that. Like that. So you come in like this. And uh, we're going to build this. What should we build it? Three high, maybe? Let's just build it three high. Let's use all this wool. And then we've at least made a start and uh, made, like, some foundations, at least. Then I'll be happy. I'll be a happy chappy if I've done that. It's not going to take that long to use all this wool up. Ooh, no, oh, made a mistake already. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, what should we do first? I reckon we should go and catch ourselves some Pokemon. And uh, for this, we're going to head to the water. Maybe. I really want, like, a fossil Pokemon. Uh, but I think that's just going to come... Um, as we go mining and stuff, so we need to find like um, a biome, like a, a sea sort of biome, and then we just need to go digging underneath, and uh, hopefully we'll find some stuff from that, uh, and that's basically all the wool, choo choo help <gasps> look at, oh I want one of them, I want one of them, I want one of them, I want one of them I think they're dugons, where's choo choo at? choo choo, choo choo I think choo choo's, choo choo's dying somewhere choo choo, I don't know where he is I can't see him, <gasps> look at this thing over here uh, before I actually ooh there's, there's Gyarados. Um, I think Choo Choo's sp spazzing out a bit. Ooh. Oh, look at this thing. I had one of these before. Before I um, before I started again. And he was massive. I'm going to try and get a Dugon like this guy. Um, and I'm going to try and get him bigger than this. Because I had one that was absolutely huge. I'm not even joking. Um, so I'm going to try and get one of them again. Um, where's Choo Choo at? Ooh. Choo Choo. Hello, mate. I found, um, I found some, some Ultra Balls for you. What's, what's down here then? What have you found down there? What's down there? I fell, <laughs> I fell in a hole. Is this your Gyarados, mate? Is that yours? Yeah, jolly good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to... That's my house, mate. Do you like it? It's pretty good, isn't it? It's just um, it's a lot of zigzags on a hill. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to try and set out and uh, go and find ourselves some pixel one. We're going to go into the sea areas. And um, since my squirtles actually fainted... We're just going to have to throw some Ultra Balls at some uh, Pokemon and hope for the best. <laughs> not really sure how it's going to work. Uh, sometimes they actually do. Like, you do get them first time with Ultra Balls because they are quite powerful. Uh, but sometimes they put up a fight and they, uh, they, don't, actually, they don't actually let you capture them. Uh, so we're going to try and find a sea biome somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, I guess we'll just head out. This is what I like about this one. You can just set off. I've got myself some materials. Uh, let me just put some stuff back in my backpack. Uh, let's just get rid of... Uh, was there anything we can use here? We've got healers. Uh, we can only put the healer down once, I believe. And then we have to dis then um, it can't be destroyed. Uh, so we're going to put all this stuff away. Like so. I love this backpack. It's awesome. You can just store like, so much in it. It's like a double chest. It's basically the same size as a double chest. It's pretty cool. Uh, right, let's set out. Let's set out on our little adventure. Our goal for this episode, guys, is to... Uh, what was that? A gold dean? Don't like gold beans. They're really annoying. A lot of Pixelmon uh, obviously make... Yeah, you can hear her. Uh, a lot of Pixelmon make noises. She's the most annoying. She always sounds like she's questioning herself. She's like, Goldine, Goldine. <laughs> it's like, shut up, Goldine. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's so annoying. Um, but a lot of Pokemon are really cool. Uh, so we're gonna f probably going to find... I want to like, head out um try and find um, some decent Pokemon. And um, I really want a rare Pokemon because there's, you can get Mews. Mew is like the most powerful uh, Pokemon in the game. And uh, then you get your legendary Pokemon, which is like Articuno and uh, stuff like that. And they're all, they all have like a really small chance of actually spawning. 
But I really want to actually have a few episodes going out and uh, just trying to find the, them Pokemon because it'd be epic, it'd be so cool. And uh, Articuno actually spawns uh, in this sort of area. They spawn in um, snowy mountains, I believe, which is pretty cool. Um, so if I want to... I always think Pidgeotto is an Articuno as well because of the... Uh, oh, ooh, an Enderpearl. Two Enderpearls. I wonder who dropped them. That was weird. Um, so yeah, I want to kind of look in these biomes and... Um, Try and find myself some legendary Pokemon. Uh, but I'm going to stick to my water Pokemon, but I really want some hidden things in my deck. I kind of feel like it's a deck like a Pokemon. Look at these Gastlys. Look at these guys. There's three of them just chilling by a tree. Oh, what's this? A Mareep. Oh, it's a sheep. Sheepy. Uh, but yeah, a lot of Pokemon uh, drop their own specific loot. Uh, so stuff like Abra, uh, their teleporting Pokemon, they actually drop Ender Pills, which is probably what I got my Ender Pill from. And um, I think like the things, the Pokemon that look like uh, the thing in Minecraft drop their sort of stuff, if that makes sense. Uh, so that sheep Pokemon, if I killed it, it'd probably drop wool. And uh, so on and so forth. What are these over here? Oh, these are like, um, oh, what are they called now? I'll see in a minute from the name tags, but I'm just trying to remember. What are these things called? They're like, oh, these are really good because they put, like, other Pokemon to sleep. Venomoth. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're flying Pokemon as well. I think if I capture one of them, I can actually uh, fly. And it's a tentacle. Look at Squiddy. Hello. He's level 16. Maybe we could actually capture him. Should we? Or should we just, like, carry on looking? Should we just go for a swim and try and find some? I don't know. Uh, let's just carry on going. I want to see what else we can get. You can obviously get a magic carp. Oh, there's another tentacle over there. I, I want like a higher level one than 16 to start off with. And that's a bit greedy, but never mind. Um, so you can obviously you can get magic carp, but they actually do nothing until like level 20. And then they evolve into their massive Gyarados. Um, so they are pretty cool if you want to get them, but they're pretty pointless. <laughs> um, you can see underwater as well. You can see like there's that really bright blue square. Uh, that's actually um, a water shard. You can mine them. If you get nine of them, you can make a water stone, uh, which you can use to evolve your water Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, decided that I'm probably going to be out here for a while, so I better capture um, a tentacle. I missed a tentacle, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to capture one of these babies. I really want like a higher level one. If I see a higher level one, I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball at it, or a Dive Ball, or whatever. What level is this guy? He is a level 12. Man, nah, we can do a bit better than that. Can we do better than that? Let's try and find some other guy. Um, oh, maybe we can get the evolved version. That would be pretty cool. I've, I, this was kind of a bad idea. Me just swimming out into the ocean. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting really low on hunger as well. Because I've got some potatoes. There's nothing around me apart from water. It's a good job this place looks beautiful, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd be getting pretty bored. Ooh, land! Land! Land ho! Oh, it's finally found land. All right, okay. Can we can we capture any Pokemon? I'm gonna I'm gonna capture a Pokemon. I'm gonna capture a water Pokemon. Let's get this guy over here. Let's get this tentacruel. Ooh, oh, what are these guys? I see a little oyster. Oh, look at these. These are cool. What are these guys? Come here. Come here, fruit. Come here, mate. Come on. Come on. Look at these. Come here, boy. Look at these guys. Oh, I think they're um. I think they evolve into like a really big Sheldon. Shelder. Level 13. Should we capture one of them? Go on, should we, let's do it. We haven't captured a Pokemon yet. Let's try and use a dive ball. I think they only work for um for a Pokemon in the water type. Uh, but let's just kind of capture one of these. Level 7, level 13, level 13. Let's just go for this. So all you do is throw a Pokemon at it and uh, it breaks. <laughs> Jolly good. I think I used it for the wrong thing. <laughs> they just broke. Oh my god. Right, we're going to try the Ultra Ball then, if that didn't work. <laughs> Come here, Shelder. Let's, let's have you. Come on. Come on. Get in this. Get in this. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on to Squiddy. Come on. Please. Please work. Come on. Come on. Is he going to do it? Mm, yeah, we captured a Shelder. Woo, 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 woo. And this is mine now. Look at him. He's amazing. Get a good old shelter. We're gonna have to evolve this guy somehow. Is <laughs> sticking his tongue out at me. Uh, but while we're in the water, we're gonna go around the edges see if we can uh, find any other Pokemon uh, quickly before we end this first episode. And uh, yeah, let's go diving. Can we see any? Don't really want to get a magic cap. I should have really captured a tent to tent to cool because they're really awesome and they evolve into like a really big beast. Um, so yeah, let's just have a go. Uh, also, I said I was gonna get a flying type Pokemon. 
Um, but yeah, that's not really happened yet. <laughs> let's just see. Let's see what, what's um, on top of this land. See if we can see anything that's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, hope you're liking it so far, guys. Hope you're liking this amazing shader pack and this amazing mod. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. It's going to be my favourite. You get addicted to it as well. Oh, look, there's a flying Pokemon over there. Fira, I think that is. Can we throw a Pokeball at it? I don't really want him to challenge me because my my um, my client will crash. My my game will crash. Can we see it from a distance? So we just throw a Pokeball at it. hey -ya! Oh, there we go. Come on. Please. Come on. Just get in the Pokeball. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Come on. Please, 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 please. No, what, what level is it? What level is it? I don't really want to get close. Oh, he's level 38! Oh my goodness, that's crazy. We'll try one more. Come on. Imagine if I got a level 38 Pokemon in the first episode. <laughs> that would be insane. I, I really want to um, like keep one more Ultra Ball. Uh, just for my water type Pokemon. No, he's too powerful. What you have to do, guys, is you have to, you have to weak them first. And then try and capture them. Um, so, oh, oh, you can put them to sleep. You remember them me uh, Venom moths that I showed you? You can actually use them type of Pokemon to put them to sleep and then throw a Pokeball at it. So, like, they don't have a chance to escape if they're asleep, which is pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, I think we have just about run out of time in this first episode, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying this mod and this uh, amazing, amazing, amazing thing. This amazing game. Uh, it's pretty awesome. As I say, I'll leave all the links in the description if you want to ever come and join me uh, on this server. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll join me uh, in the next episode, guys. Bye!